Hey friends, welcome back to Oso Farm. Today we are working on a whelping box for Luna, our Great Pyrenees. She is due within the week. So Brian did some research online and just finished this box for her. So it's all ready to go. where you're going to have your babies okay so we just finished building the mega whelping box probably the biggest whelping box ever um, but we did that on purpose because Luna is a great Pyrenees and great Pyrenees can have up to 15 puppies um, we are hoping that she doesn't have 15 puppies somewhere around six or seven but just in case she does, um, we've got a big space for her and her puppies. So Luna is due in about seven days. That's what we think. So we were on vacation for about a week, anywhere from October 9th to plus seven. So October 16th. Um, if she comes before then, we are, we're prepared now. So let me show you the whelping box. Okay, this is the whelping box. It is pretty big. Let me zoom out here. All right, there's the wide angle lens. Um, it is about eight feet long by almost six feet wide. And this was just uh, two four by eight plywood panels cut in half, it's two feet tall. I cut out an opening for Luna to get in and out of. Um, that's about 10 inches deep. And then along the sides of the box, we took one and a quarter inch PVC. And this, what this does is it gives a little space underneath when the puppies are around mama and mama goes to lay against the side that she doesn't squish her puppies. So they would kind of go underneath like that. And mama's behind would be up against this rail. And so that's a one and a quarter inch PVC all the way around with some um, T couplings and then on the outside there's just some caps to hold them in place and none of this is glued together I did it really tight and I did it like this so that we wouldn't have I don't want this whelping box on my porch you know for the rest of eternity so <laughs> this should be really easy to break down store for the next time so that's our whelping box and we were ready, even though we're not really ready. This will be our first, our first puppy birth and I'm a little anxious. Um, just, I'm, I'm anxious because I don't know what to expect. I'm anxious uh, because I'm not sure if the puppies are Apollos or not. We had a neighborhood dog that was um, sneaking in our backyard while we were gone. Hopefully, cross your fingers, we have purebred Great Pyrenees here in about a week. So stay tuned, you'll get to see Luna's birth and her puppies. So until next time, thanks for watching. 